Question two is a counting principle uh, concept. We've got Olivia who is playing a mathematics club annual picnic. Sounds pretty exciting. She may choose from three meat selections, four types of vegetables, and five kinds of cookies. How many different menus, each with the meat, a vegetable, and a cookie can she select? So we want to count how many different and unique plates that she can make from her choices. So our fundamental counting principle that I've outlined here in the, in the box is if we want to figure out how many outcomes are possible, what we do is we figure out how many outcomes there are for each choice and then multiply those choices together to get your total number of outcomes. So in this one here that I'm highlighting, if A and B are two, out, two events that we want to happen, if A has N sub 1 outcomes, so if A has a certain number of outcomes that it can use, and then the second event, B, has a certain number of outcomes, N sub 2, that, that are available, then you can find the total number of possible outcomes by taking N sub 1 times N sub 2. How many choices do you have for the first selection? How many choices do you have for the second selection? So here's what we're doing with this one. And, and the second part, as I said, you can apply this concept on larger and larger selections or events. We really have three events here that we're going to work with. Olivia has a choice of um, three types of meats. So we have choices for meats, then we have choices for vegetables, and then we have choices for cookies. What we want to do is figure out how many choices do we have for each one of these events. So these things are events. This is my event one, this is my event two, and this is my event number three. How many choices of meats are there? There are three selections of meat. How many choices do I have for vegetables? There are four choices for that event to happen. And how many choices of cookies? Well, there are five choices for that event. So to find the total number of possible outcomes and choices that we have, you simply multiply those numbers together. So we're going to have, I'm going to go 20, and 20 times 3, which is 60. So from those selections, she can create 60 unique and different um, plate offerings to this club. So letter E is the correct solution.